Dean, a difficult evening for the lads. Uh, what's your take on it? The business is rootless. This business is rootless. Uh, the players have ran the same amount. I'll just check the stats that they ran on Saturday. Um, I can't fault the players. Um, and we were just clinically punished, really. Um, so, yeah, so frustrating night. And we're going to have to get over it very quick because we go again Saturday. But, you know, upon reflection, when I watch the game back, which I watch up on the bus on the way back, you know, if I look at it realistically, no one wants to change a winning team. I've been forced them to do that. Three players played tonight that were injured, but we've not replacements for them. So, Harry Taylor, Ephraim Mason Clark, and Sam Beard all played injured tonight. And uh, it's admirable, but, you know, the strength and depth of our squad just isn't right at this moment in time. And it takes time uh, to be able to grow a team, grow a football club, especially one that's been getting beat quite a lot for the last two seasons. Um, so, I know our supporters are frustrated, just like myself. Um, and our players are frustrated. Everybody's frustrated with tonight's um, performance and uh, result. But what I would say is it shows you the gulf between the top teams and sort of where we're at at this moment in time. And that doesn't get changed over three months, four months, five months. It takes a long time to do that. And uh, I have to give Notts County a lot of credit, especially from the Rob Hall incident. Um, who was uh, racially uh, abused um, and Harley had to take him off for his own mentality and welfare so yeah it's what's happened to society that's what I want to know it's crazy the world's gone crazy it's just you know to make comments like that towards players it was, it's, it's crazy and I thought the Notts County fans you know 99.9% of were excellent with us and their players and the referee did a very good job as well like you mentioned there, it was a disappointing foot to, uh, to to see it un- unveil there in, in the stand behind the goal. Um, but but full credit to, to the to the police and, and the Notts County fans for, for acting instantly. Yeah, they did, did a great job, Notts County. Yeah, um, the referee tells me the chap was arrested. Um, so yeah, look, it's like I say, society. What's going on? What's happened? What's wrong with people being nice? People aren't nice to you right no more. Uh, the world's become a very selfish place. And it's quite sad, really. Um, so yeah so look I don't really want to talk about that incident too much but let's give Notts County a lot of credit they were rootless in their play and they're a good side they've got a lot of good players they can afford to well play to change their squad we can't like I say there's three players to start a Saturday we didn't want to come out in a way we missed our skipper tonight as well so which is not ideal and um, yeah we've had three players play injured which uh, is as memorable to them We've, we've mentioned it before, but do you think it was a case of, uh, of, of Notts County just showing their, their, their quality on the night? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, they're a good side, and they've got some good players. And they were hungry after their defeat uh, from Saturday. We gave away, look, realistically, you know, we have to be honest, the first two goals are errors, aren't they? You know, and then I think the two goals are an error as well. Um, and you can't do that here. Your goalkeeper has to have a good performance when you come to a place like this. And then start the second half with a one-on-one, guilt edge chance. We miss it. We kept going. We got back to we got back to three-one. Is that correct? Was it or four-one? I can't remember. It just to be honest, I just wanted to keep the score down at one stage. Um, so yeah, it's very difficult night for us. Um, but we just cannot dwell on it. I mean, we've got to try stick together. Like I say, I know our supporters are frustrated. Everyone's frustrated. No one wants to. No one been a football manager in the last two weeks. We had. No one wants that. We don't want that. I want to concentrate on football. No, it's about football, but it's, uh, I'm afraid uh, it is what it is, and leaders have to step up, and I'm a leader, so I'll continue to step up and uh, try to lead our football club uh, in the right direction. What, what do you feel needs to change to, to be a bit more competitive in, in games like this? A deeper, better squad, better calibre of player. It's as simple as that. So that's what we need. Uh, we need better players. Um, you know, like I say, players ain't just going to walk into Barnet Football Club you know from the situation we've had in recent weeks um, and we're constantly looking to improve there's no point in bringing in Peter to replace Paul because that's happened over the previous managers that have been here you know loads of them they didn't win any matches some of them so the fact that we've won 8 matches um, out of 19 league matches I think it's 19 now it's not bad from the position we were in um, basically you know in the worst position what we are now so you know, I don't, I don't really know what our expectations are as a football club um, 
and I understand being promoted out of this division three times and I get that but times have changed you can't live in the past and we've got to move on and we've got to step forward together you know it's the point in berating the lads at the end for our supporters it's, uh, it don't help anything what's that going to achieve um, and we've got pulled together I don't understand why the supporters would do that to us the players gave their all we were outclassed simple as that you know, players played injured tonight. I said that in my pre-match interview to you. I said that to you earlier. Did I not watch that? So I told them it's an open. We've got an open. They come train and just train on tours. They come down, have a conversation, have a cup of tea, have a good coffee with us in Starbucks at the club. Come and see us. Interact with us. I'm right behind all this internet stuff and all this rubbish. Do you know what I mean? Come down and see us. Have a get to know us. Get to know how we work. Um, it's an open facility. You know. So yeah, just along them lines, the players don't deserve that after everything they've been through. And they're giving their all. Like I say, the same running stats from Saturday to today. The exact same running stats. And um, I can't knock our players' walk right. We're outclassed. As you mentioned there, we have come here with a, with a de depleted squad and, uh, and they kept fighting to the end. Efron Mason Clark obviously getting back on the score sheet must be a positive from tonight. Yeah, look, ideally we wouldn't have started Efron tonight. We wouldn't have involved them at all. Um, Sam Beard the same and uh, Harry Taylor. But they played, we asked them to play and they've played. So they play for the badge, so uh, I'm proud of them for that. And a, fir a first start to, for uh, for Keane for a few months is, is you know an another thing to, to take away from tonight, surely. Yeah, look, positive in that sense. Keane still got to add goals to his game. He got some great areas, um, especially second half. He went in the outside a couple of times. He never got his shot away. Things like that he's got to do better. At. Um, so yeah, look, it's good to have him back, and hopefully we can have a clean bill of health going into the weekend. Uh, and just looking ahead to Saturday now, we're obviously hosting uh, Wheelstone. What's the uh, preparation going to look like ahead of that one? We're literally going to be patching people up, see how everyone is on Thursday. Um, our medical team have done a great job, to be fair, to be able to get the three lads to be able to play for us tonight. That did play. Um, so let's just, it's day by day, really. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully we can try to sign a couple of players this week as well. That's, that's the aim. So let's see how we go.